back in life. So my face is getting softer. It's almost like a diffuse. I can see these vertical lines. And I think if I, I set it to some weird things, or some of these clap, some of them don't. But in any case, let's just go back to zero because that was a really nice look. And you can go ahead and go to Row Menu, Environment Settings, Environment Editor, and you can go in the bad sky, or you can just scrub the data like this. And you can play around with it and see how that affects flow. Notice it looks very posturized, almost banded. It's almost like a cartoon or a graphic novel for you, Swiss enthusiast sort of look. So this is the point where I, I'm combining all these skills together to show you what cohesion view menu and zoom in or control zero. I'm a big fan of that. You just zoom in like that and you can go ahead and you take a snapshot of yourself and it looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? <laughs> so that's a bit of the fun you can achieve with Glow. Have a look. I'm just going to reset my view. Look for objects in the world that already use Glow. There are all sorts of things from lava lamps, of course, to sci-fi, things like this just to give you a real taste of the possibilities. One little parameter like this combined with others can add so much value and so much awesome to your creations. Check it out. Check out the most triumphant growth. I know what we'll do for fun. Let's have a delightfully quick look at a couple ways to create new clothing items. The basics, but fundamental ones. Go to File Menu and upload image. First of all, this is where you need to find a picture, a texture, in a compatible format to upload. In this case, I already have one prepared from Robin Wood, aka Robin Sojourner, in some way. Thanks a lot to her for this great resource. And then you see it's right here, and we can go ahead and select upload. Now let's, while that's happening, let's look at a couple ways, or that was fast. <laughs> so it shows up in previews. Great. Now, we want to replace this shirt with another one. So we can right click and choose appearance. And let's look at the different layers of mesh clothing types, which are all under here, under the clothes. So each one has a different tab. If we click shirt, we can see that, OK, this one isn't actually on the shirt layer. So it might be on jacket or undershirt. Let's check. Looks like it's on the jacket. So <laughs> this is still family friendly. But you notice how this is upper fabric lower fabric color and tint. Well, we can just take it off and then we can click here to create a new jacket and the jacket is the topmost layer of your wear like that. So there's no texture there and it looks kind of open. Actually, the shape of this would be better represented if I just take this off again and go to shirt and create a new shirt because it's what you expect. It looks like a shirt after all. There you see, it's a shirt and it's a plain shirt. So fabric, we can either click this and from the textures here see what we got we can either click this and it applies it give it a few seconds and here it is just as expected it's set up by the template alternatively if you cast that you can go to your inventory you can look for your textures and you can click and drag it that's another way you can do that and here we've created a new shirt we can change things like the sleeve length so it's not black here it's meant to be a t-shirt like that, see, nice, and then we can tint it. So if you want to make it a little yellow, like that, it's not too hard to see, is it? Orange, ah, we'll go with orange one, that's nice. Select, and then we can just save all, save changes, or just save the specific item, and close that. And here we are, we have a nice orange shirt. Here.